All right, guys, welcome back to more of uh, Silent Hill, the short message. Huh. So the previous episode was pretty scary. I'm going to leave a link of that. Please go ahead and check it out. Uh, we came across some sort of a monster, which I have no idea what it is exactly, but it looks very weird and it definitely scared the hell out of me. So, uh, yeah, if you are someone who like um, horror contents, then this is absolutely the series for you so yeah please check out the previous episode and uh, yeah i'm uh, so we are continuing exactly from the same spot where we left off last time so this is round 2 and we are again doing the same old thing again and again so we are sort of stuck in a loop and uh, we are supposed to find our way out and find something which we have been told over a message by her friend yeah who is who is like literally dead so we are talking with ghostly characters and this is absolutely oh my god a scary ghost game all right let's let's get let's do this oh this is exactly the same area dude what is that that thing is shaking it's not giving me a very good vibe i mean the whole game is definitely not going to give a good vibe but, man, walking through these uh, dark uh, hallways is, uh, no, I would definitely not do something like this. Uh, okay, what is this? Alright, we sort of checked this refrigerator out the first time and it is exactly the same way and in the same place. The baby is also in the same place. Um, I'm wearing headphones, I might just shout my head off, oh god, this is scary. I might shout or scream my head off if something pops up in front of my screen. Um, okay, that red mark is not there, that baby is still there and its head is intact with its body, so it's fine. At least on the bright side, we are in the um i guess like uh, it's morning i think previously when we played it was night or something i don't i exactly don't remember what is this i can toggle something over here all right hey wait this is the room where we saw that art of hers painting or whatever it is uh graffiti uh it's been sort of Vandalized, I guess. Uh, what? Who would do this? All right. Um. Every single time I turn around, I'm just waiting. What is gonna pop up? Uh, these hands are still here. I think you guys can relate to this better if you see my previous video. So please go ahead and check it out, guys. It's really nice. I mean, it's really scary, but yeah. Oh god, nice for someone who loves horror content. Okay. Okay. Everything's cool, let's just keep moving. Oh my god, it's saving, dude. I'm scared. I can hear some sort of a noise. Like someone is sort of crying or something. It is very crying or laughing or something dude my god i don't remember seeing this place before but i think this is like a new area or something yeah sorry for that cut guys so uh, uh my wife just barged in out of some work so i had to pause it anyways uh let's just continue so uh, this is a brand new area and i don't remember seeing this oh my god what is that that is that is the most creepiest thing i've ever seen probably holy f holy fish man look at that oh i am that that thing is giving me a lot of goosebumps holy shit i'm scared to turn around oh my god thank god nothing is there i'm just waiting for that jump scare like it's it's i know it's somewhere near it's going to hit and when it hits it's going to be really hard that is something i know oh my god okay oh 
What? Yeah, exactly. The flashlight is back on. Um, can I go through here? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, what else do we have? Um, wait, we can examine this thing. How could somebody do this? Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. Oh my god, I can hear some sort of a background noise. Okay. Oh my! Holy shit, dude! My god, this was absolutely scary. Man, I'm getting the goosebumps. Oh god, wait, hold on. I just need a breather. My hair is standing... I mean, right up all over my body. Dude, this is freaking scary, man. Did that thing move? Holy fish. God damn. Oh my god, I'm breathing. Oh shit. Dude, every single thing is scaring me off. Oh god damn. Should I be going back through the same door or should I be going... Dude, wait, this thing was here and I think probably one of those also came running behind me man this thing is very scary dude holy shit okay let's inspect this thing what whatever it is this? yeah even I don't understand what is that I'm not able to figure out what that is exactly I think probably in the whole game even that thing that sort of chased us uh, I think this was more scarier than that that monster chasing us Holy fish. Oh god. This is still the same thing I believe. All of the teenagers were ashamed of the selfies. Okay, it's still the same. That's not changed yet. Um, ooh, we got a message from Amelie. This Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Before. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what happened in the previous video. Um, you're feeling okay. Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So is Maya really dead? Yeah, the Maya. That is the ghostly figure whom we are sort of interacting with. Why are you asking that? Please tell me. Um, I still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So Maya really is dead then. Yeah, Anita, are you okay? You're getting enough sleep? Kinda, I'm taking some really good meds. What about therapy? doesn't really so good to me, but do much to be honest behind. did maya really not say anything like at all so i think probably so think of the book killed themselves when they were young something beautiful from something tragic it's kind of enchanting isn't it I wonder what they were thinking right before they died anyway I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter you really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Yeah, so all these things are exactly happening the same way. I mean, whatever happened in the previous video, it was almost the same. I mean, like a replica, but probably 
some things are a little bit different i guess when compared to my previous episode that i did if you want food do what i say I mean, is this all written by Maya in Dread or it's someone else? Okay, in Japanese culture, there has been a long sense of beauty and sacrifice. Being a primary, prime example, the idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. Okay. Um, this concept can be confusing to many Westerners with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Man, that is sick, dude. However, do not view do su I'm sorry. Do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore. And the life they value is not the biological variety, but rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life. All right. Mm, I guess that is kind of a different perspective about death and taking your own life and suicide and stuff. So yeah, okay. Um, this is all the same that we saw, I believe. Uh, these are these haven't changed um this hasn't changed too this is exactly the same painting that was there when we visited before and uh ooh, wait there's something different over here this was not there previously when i just visited or probably this room was blocked off i mean like the door was locked or something i believe this is looking some some like some 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 kind of a ritualistic thing dude Belief in the witch of I still can't pronounce what is that. Those who believe in the witch of share many practices with the modern, uh, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is its slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. Um, one creative theory: uh, entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth. Um, okay guess it was used as some sort of way to make money what those guys are talking about fortune telling a lot of people are getting into that huh you don't believe in that stuff well i think there's something real about it my great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. All right, so, um, wait, what? Okay, all right, we came through here, dude. I was like, all of a sudden, how did a wall come in between? Um, no point predicting my future. All right, let's go. I'm scared that that sticky monster is somewhere lurking around. Uh, same wall again. Um, all right, we came through here, so um, I guess we go through here, dude. What is this? There are two doors again. So it's basically like we are finding answers to what is exactly happening over here. Uh, what is this? Okay, some sort of. Um, this is for the college Amelie has yeah. to go to. So university uh, poster, I believe. Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk. Sure, what's up? You seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Sorry to bring it up. Don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what, like, fe what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. All right, you okay? Yeah, just gonna try to avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah, we can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds and nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop taking like that. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Exactly. Everyone is beautiful. The oh, fish. 
Dude, what the hell is that, man? Oh my god. I think Div. Wait, what is that? Okay. Div planned it, put it up so perfectly. Like, you know, you're standing there, you're reading it, and you turn around and you find this ghostly scary face poster on the wall. This sort of reminds me of the Saw. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It's uh, very gore and stuff. Um, okay, wait, let's just read this. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas by break. Um, okay. If you guys want to sort of uh, read all of this stuff, you can just pause it. If it's not important, I usually do a skimming over it and do not read it uh, completely from starting to the end. Yeah, so like I was telling, this sort of reminds me of the Saw. It's all gore and stuff, but uh, this the first part of Saw is something that I really liked, wherein uh, those two guys are sort of trapped in a room and they'll have to find their way out. And he, um, he sort of finds, his, try to find his way, but he cannot uh, sort of do it. He'll just cut his hand off. Yeah they'll be sort of handcuffed to some sort of pipes and stuff uh, that was really nice but later on i think it sort of became way too much gore and stuff all right stay home alone all right um i guess we've pretty much checked everything every nook and corner um what is this this room is all scrambled up um Got some materials for my first choice in the mail today. Um, college I freshman. Hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. What is this? Um, young student found dead possible suicide. At around 10 a.m. on 24th, the local resident reports seeing an 18-year-old female student fall from the roof of apartment building. The girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead to us later. According to school staff, the girl, were, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police still believe the police still believe her death was not like this, though. maybe a suicide. All right. Um, okay, we've pretty much checked everything over here. It's saving. Oh God, every single time I'm getting into the hallway, I'm scared, man. Where would that monster come from exactly? Oh my God, this is, oh, just dustbins. That thing scared the shit out of me. I don't know for what reason. Probably it's the eerie vibe that is sort of bringing that it keeps that fear in the back of your mind and when that thing comes in front of you you're scared as shit all right uh everything you're a heartless bitch you stole only my friend um you don't even care i'm in the middle okay this is some bullshit all right let's let's just keep moving man come on this is just a game we can do it oh god i have a feeling that we are closing to something like really important Oh god, this is creepy. This is the same hallway we passed through last time. And uh, I don't know what is going to happen. Oh god. Too scary, man. Way too scary. Oh god. I can hear someone humming in the background. Holy fish, it's coming from this room. My god. Okay. Let's just do it, man. Why can't I get inside? It's locked. I can't get inside. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, what? Dude, wait, what is happening? Did I go in the right path? Or should I sort of have gone somewhere else? Still confused. Way too silent, man. This is way too silent. Not a good sign at all. Oh, wait, what is that? This thing wasn't open before. I think there was a wall or it was sort of closed. This area was sort of closed off. Okay. At least something. We are at a place where something, there is some light, man. I mean, seriously. I'm scared of the dark, dude. 
I mean, not the uh, regular dark, but the scary dark, which this game is sort of portraying. Oh my god, I guess we've got to go through here. Okay, what is gonna happen? Oh, what is... Dude, what? What is this? Okay, let's just keep going through there. Dumb. Oh, fish. Damn it, man. Go away. The first time someone threw that shoe at me. <laughs> I mean, the game is scary, so it's sort of... Uh... It sort of scares you even in the slightest of bits. Oh god. This school reminds me of... Um, this reminds me of Outlast. The second game that came out probably. My god, that was a very scary game. This is exactly like the same way, man. Can I go through them? Dude, give me some space. No, I cannot. Oh wait, there's something over here. What the hell? Get up, you freak slut! You're our fucking weird freak! Cock you piece of shit! Holy shit! Alright, this is already very scary. We've got to go through them. That is definitely for sure. I don't think so we can go through there. If they are standing like this, it means that we have to go through... Shut your whore mouth. I think this is sort of relating to something that happened in their school. Oh, fish. Dude, what is that? This is all... God damn. Dude, this game is like crazy. I think it sort of gets into your head. Messes with it. God damn. But it is scary as shit. Alright, uh, we've uh, just woken up guys. I mean, I clearly have no idea what is going on over here. This, like I was guessing, this is probably like, you know, uh, something that happened at school. If you haven't checked out my previous video, there was a thing that this lady was texting with uh, her friend Amelie and uh, she actually tells her that, um, you know, uh, those guys deserved it or something like that. Something relating to this. Oh, fish! This thing is happening again. Oh my god, I'm scared to do this, man. Like, literally. So probably that is why we ended up over here at the school. Okay, this is just a game. Come on, man. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this. Oh, shit. The scariest part begins. Scariest part begins. Open it! Open it! Run! I'm not running. What is this, dude? Dude, I have no idea where I am going. Open! I don't know from where that monster might just come out. I am absolutely... Oh my fish! Okay, so that thing happened. I am shit scared to do it, man. That thing just came out of nowhere. Alright, we've got to beat this thing, man. We've really got to beat this thing. From where? 
I can hear some sort of a noise behind me. I don't want to turn at all. I'm very scared. The last time I did something like this. Dude, where am I going? Oh shit, no man, come on. That thing is way too fast. All right. So until and unless we are clearing this thing, not again. Not again. this is not gonna end. I cannot die. I'll have to escape that monster. But the thing is that she sort of comes out of nowhere, just like that. Just like that. I mean, she's way too fast, dude. Run! Holy fish! Dude, I'm going in loops. I am definitely going in loops. I think she is behind me. Oh god damn. some reason i believe clearing this maze is really tough hold on we went through here i can hear i can hear she's coming behind me i think she stopped Okay. I can see her, dude. No! Come on! All right, it's been quite a lot of times, dude. Like literally, so many times I've tried beating this thing, but I'm not able to do it for some reason. I don't know. This thing is a big maze, and you know, sort of beating it is taking time. Come on, come on, come on. Move. You know, I'm sort of getting used to this. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think probably we should have gone through here and to the right probably. Dude, I'm going in complete circles, man. Did I come back to the same kit? Run, lady, run for your life. Dude, where am I going? I'm going in circles, man. I'm absolutely stuck. Oh, thank God I beat it. Oh my God, I can't believe I beat this thing. Holy shit. Yeah, exactly. Why is she chasing you? My God. All right, so uh, we've—I guess—we've just finished the second run. The thing is, the first one was pretty straight enough. We got it. I mean, uh, we finished off that maze very 
easily but uh, the second one was tough dude i have a feeling that there might be one more round to this i clearly have not seen the walkthroughs but i have a feeling that there might be another round to this and that is going to be a very hard one i believe this alone took me i guess five attempts to complete oh my god this was absolutely crazy man all right let's check this um okay it's the same paintings i believe uh i don't think so anything's changed over here this guy looks familiar okay um Where are uh, you going? i think there is some sort of a story to all yeah, of this that's right i don't know man um what you see come closer then wait a sec you two are from my class those glasses look good on you uh, sorry she's so cute I couldn't help myself Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Naya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see me. I was invisible to her. All right, so the person we saw in the picture was probably Amelie. Yeah, I believe she's the one. I guess we sort of check this thing out. Hold on. This picture is Amelie. Yeah, exactly. Dude, I have no idea what's going on. This is like... Oh God. Ooh, I don't know what I I don't know probably once we complete the game we'll have an idea I believe as to what is going to happen but yeah I think this is the part I'm going to sort of end this thing over here guys it I think it's been almost half an hour of a session <laughs> all right uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you guys want more of such horrific horrifying episodes then please don't forget to subscribe and if you can take a timer and leave a like or drop a comment it's going to be an absolute boost for me to keep rocking their stuff back to back yeah all right i love you all and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out until then bye bye